This video is supported by viewers like you. If you want to help me make more things like this, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you. Vienna has great public transit. Using bus, tram and train, you can reach almost any part of the city within the length of a Falco album. At the core of the system is the metro, which moves by far the most people around the city. That way, you can comfortably go from one end of the city to the other with a dignified 80 kph top speed before you've even managed to unlock that heckin' scooter. Crumbs. One flaw remains though. And no, I don't mean the U6 metro line. U6 is an integral transit lifeline that does a great job despite historically imposed capacity limitations. If someone checks up their breakfast in a U6 station every once in a while, that's a small price you should gladly pay. No, the flaw in Vienna's metro network is this. There's a line missing, but you've noticed that of course. Well done, here's a gold star and a suite. Vienna has no U5. Doesn't exist. Never has. So maybe don't throw a tantrum at the info desk because your metro plan has a line missing. There's a reason for that. And I'm gonna tell you it. Vienna, around 1850. The city grows and grows and gradually becomes too big to get around on foot. Therefore, idea. Underground train lines that invisibly transport thousands of people through the Viennese soil. Sounds promising. Surely elaborate stuff. But it shouldn't take too long. Ferdinand, don't you think we should get going? Ferdinand! Well, shouldn't we get going? With... With the metro, Ferdinand! We need a metro! In 1968, the time had finally come. Many network variants were on the table, but the choice fell on a basic metro network of U1, U2, It's a beautiful day! and U4, with U3, U5 and U6 to be added later on. As you see, the numbers are in a bit of a scramble. That's because the lines were numbered before it was clear in which order they'd go into service. Huh, let's just keep it like that. When we number the lines strictly chronologically, U4 changes to U1, U1 to U2, U2 to U3, U6 to U4, U3 to U5, and the still absent U5 would become U6. That's not how they did it though. That's why between U4 and U6 there's an awkward gap, waiting to get filled. While U2, U4 and U6 are based on sections of the city railway and underground tram network, Ustrap for short, Ustrap, tram of the future, which only had to be retrofitted, U5 requires digging a new tunnel through half of the city. That takes funds, and takes time, especially for a line where some have said, do we even need that luxury? And thus, construction of U5, to the agony of those longing for order, always lacked a few coins. But light at the end of the metro tunnel. In 2014, U5 was officially approved, and barring any problems with the bidding process or the outbreak of a catastrophic pandemic, U5 will appear in turquoise on the metro plan in 2025. That finally completes the set, and Vienna can sleep in peace once again.